I completely forgot the whole purpose of the series. If you've been following the series since the beginning, you remember how you remember that my speech in the beginning was 40 days, 40 videos, not super edited. It's just for me to work on my consistency and my ability to put out work that's imperfect. And it started out like that. The first couple of weeks I went 12, 13 days non-stop, day in, day out posting. And then I missed a day. And then it became a every other, every other day thing. And then I missed two days in a row. Three days in a row. And every three or four videos, one video would was getting decent views, like it was getting decent traction and which was really proud of it. But see the problem with that is that becomes sort of your expectation for every video. And that expectation kind of took over the purpose of this series. I subconsciously started aiming for that traction, aiming for that viewership in every video. When it's okay to, to have the expectation, but 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 I, I needed I needed to remind myself that that's not why I started this. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to to again force myself to put something out at start it out being every day. Um and regardless of what it is, even if it's even if it's a two minute video, three minute video, anything. To work on my ability to like not have an excuse as to not uploading and making these videos. And I think that's a really recurring thing. Like you see a lot of people who have a video that goes viral early on and they just disappear from the face of the earth. And that's because this virality is really dangerous. And, and there's something really special about the stories of people who didn't find success for, for years when they started out. It's like they build this habit of, of not having that as the expectation because they're so used to like putting work out and not getting anything in return in views wise. And so that becomes their focus, you know, the process, the process of making videos, not the consequence. And again, and when you have a video that does really well early on, it's really tough to remain focused on the journey, on the process of making the videos and not thinking about the, 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 the consequence, the viewership. It's really hard. And I, I've been a victim of that. So I'm turning things around. I'm going back to the mentality that I had, that I was in when I started this. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to post every day. Something, every day, regardless of what it is. Not super edited. If you watched my, my last video, it talks about the importance of living to create. So uh, my attempt to go back to post every day kind of goes like against that idea because I briefly gave the idea that like, uh, let me, let me, I gotta live first. I gotta live a little bit so I can create. But I think there is a world where I can do both, at least like for now. I can create something every day just for the sake of sticking to the series and still focus on 
making sure I'm living and experiencing and learning things every day to take things from and, and using this video, whether that's knowledge or insights or experiences, whatever. That's it. It's been a really good year so far. Um, I have some news that I'm really excited to share. Um, and my first 50 hours of the year was really fun. Um, and I'm going to tell the story of my New Year's in the next video, as well as my first day of the year, which I did something really fun. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy 2024. It's going to be a great year. I can feel it. I'm excited.